it's Maya. Today we're going to make a stuffed ravioli uh, pasta um, and we're going to make a red sauce using carrot, celery, onion, and um, one third cup of olive oil. This is infused. It doesn't have to be though. Um, and then to make the filling, you're going to need, ooh, you're going to need some Impossible Burger. You're going or whatever type of meat that you, you want to use. You can use tofu if you want. Or you can use ground beef, or you can use ground chicken, or whatever you want to use. I forgot about that part. Um, so <laughs> then, uh, we're gonna need some spinach. It's gonna have to be wilted, uh, wilted spinach. Uh, we didn't have any frozen, so I cooked it. And then we're going to have some onions and garlic. That's all for the filling with a third cup of milk. The sauce is going to be made inside of the central oven, otherwise known as the uh, mother. Do you have to Oh, call it now that? you need me. Sawtooth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot. For the sauce, you're also going to need some garlic powder. It's not needed, but it helps give it like a garlic -y taste. Um, in here is salt. Um, one half teaspoon of salt with two cups two cups and a fourth of flour um, and we're going to add some water to that and we're going to add two teaspoons uh, one tea two teaspoons of olive oil sorry um, and that's gonna help make our dough without adding an egg because my dad's vegan okay so we're gonna get started on the sauce because the sauce takes an hour and 45 minutes, which is why I like it. Mom likes quick recipes, but I like ones I can walk away from and they're still cooking. Um, and then I can do other things. We're going to take our one, our well, it's one onion, but it's roughly chopped. And this is two pieces of celery, and this is three carrots, all roughly chopped. And we're going to take this and we're gonna put it in the food processor and we're going to make it down until it's more like a smoothie paste. Um, with the one third cup of olive oil and that will make our sofrito, which is the base of the sauce Okay guys, so this is what your sofrito should look like um, You'll see that there are like there are some chunks of stuff in it But it's mostly like a nice consistency um, and there will be some olive oil in there But don't add like any water. I shouldn't have said smoothie consistency more like it's like a paste Okay guys, so we're gonna heat our oil for about a minute and then we'll add the sofrito. Okay guys, so we're gonna slowly spoon the sofrito into the oil and slowly so that you can make sure each part gets coated by the oil. There's oil on it when we blend it, in, so it won't burn. But you need to make sure that it's spread evenly above on the bottom. Okay, we're going to cook this on about two, uh, like medium to low um, for um, 17 minutes and then we will be back to add the tomato sauce okay guys we're gonna add the tomato sauce now um, this tomato sauce is just tomatoes and some salt um, and this is what your uh, sofrito should look like after the 17 minutes have passed uh, I'm going to pull. Oops, sorry stir this until everything has a red coating so you don't see any more orange you just stir slowly because if you don't it will splash out of the pot okay we're gonna add two teas two Okay, it's one teaspoon of salt, and then we're gonna add a second one, so two teaspoons of salt. And then we just add about a teaspoon of garlic powder. I am my mother's child. Okay. A little bit more than a teaspoon, but okay. Oh, the shade. I mean, I threw it first. I said, <laughs> I am my mother's child. I didn't measure that at all. It's <laughs> with the top on for an hour, and then 45 minutes with the top out so the steam can escape and the sauce can thicken a bit so it's not so watery as it is now. So we're going to put the top on and we're going to make sure that the stove's on low and it's going to be like this for an hour. Okay guys, so I made my pasta filling. I added um, three-fourths of a, like a tofu packet 
into here um, with the wilted spinach and that onion and garlic mixture. And then, as it, cool, as it goes down with the top off, I put the meat in it so it can slowly cook and it'll have like a meat flavor. And then we have our water that is boiling for the meat. Okay, so your noodles, basically any regular linguine or pasta noodle, it has to be about that thin. I can't get that because I don't want pasta press. So I'm trying desperately to make it thinner. Um, so I made one side thinner and what you're going to do when I'm ready, I'm going to take a spoonful of this and I'm going to add it like one inch of space around so that I can put like water here and then I'll add this one that I haven't rolled out yet and lay it on top and then I'll show you what I have to do to cut it and stuff. So far, these are my homemade raviolis. Yeah, if you hear a small screaming voice from far away, that, that's me. Uh, <laughs> the last two you said? Yeah, it's the last two. All right, so we're going to show you guys the final product. Okay, guys, so I finished the ravioli. It took a while, and some of them are amoeba-shaped. Uh, <laughs> so it is the spinach, tofu, onion, and garlic inside. Um, and then our sauce, it goes on top. Um, and... The dish. <laughs> I'm, go that, Maya? I'm going to drink. I'm going to eat it with some tangerine sparkling, um, sparkling <laughs> juice. <laughs> well, put, the, put the sauce to the side so they can see it. Guys, this is the final dish. Uh, I'm really proud of myself because this was my first time making ravioli. Um, and obviously, if it's your first time, you definitely film it. Uh, <laughs> and so, I'm just gonna dig in. Um, Bye guys, please like, share, subscribe, and please stay tuned for our next vlog this video. We're doing really well. We actually did one every day. Uh, so, <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.